Hello, future multilingual. James here. Now, the second in our series on language anxiety this week. And I saw quite an interesting topic mentioned on Twitter, and that was this. What do you do when someone responds to you in English? even though you've spoken to them in another language. Now you might be thinking, James, this ain't got nothing to do with language anxiety. Well, I think it probably does, and I'll explain. I mean, first of all, let's go back to the question. What do you do when someone responds to you in English? Well, of course, you can get annoyed. You can pretend you don't speak English. But I think both of these are pretty uncomfortable. And I'm going to offer a potential reason and a potential solution. Okay, the potential reason is a lot of us feel that we have to prove ourselves in a second language. You don't have to prove yourself in a second language. But if we have that perfectionist mindset, we need to show people how good we are. Even if we don't know them. And if we can't do that, or worse, we think that they think we're no good. Again, that sort of worrying about judgment, perfectionism, no. Then we can get quite stressed about it. I've got stressed about it. I'm not going to lie. Other people get stressed about it. But I think the solution is to take a step back and say, it doesn't matter. Nobody's judging my language. In fact, they're probably trying to be nice and make you understand. But that doesn't matter their motive, no? But we mustn't see language encounters as involving an inherent judgment upon our ability in that language. I think it's important to change our chip and get out of that mindset. And I think, look, why live in doubt? Why not just say to them, look, I really want to have this conversation in this language. Is that okay with you? And then, without any stress, we all know where we are. I think the most important thing is the first suggestion. Don't see language encounters as inherently involving any judgment because that's perfectionism and it will make you anxious in the language. And number two, solve it, perhaps simply. And number three, let's add a number three. Remember that most of your language, well, your language acquisition essentially comes from processing input. So it's not really going to do you that much doubt. I mean, I guess if they're replying in English and you want them to reply in the other language, then you're not getting input. You're quite right. I'll leave that last point. That was James. This is Future Multilingual. Why not leave a comment underneath? Be great to hear what you think. Am I wrong? Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Bye.